Oh my god! <laughs> Hi guys, can we talk about how expensive these outfits are? I mean 340 butterflies, even if you buy only the daily packs, it's still gonna cost like 220 bucks. <laughs> Where I'm from, that's like a whole week of grocery shopping. Now, from a practical point of view, these outfits are useless. The extra stats are insignificant. So the only reason I'm buying them is to support the developers. New audio. $200. Get yourself some real skin. What the? Maybe not that one. Anyway, if you're free to play, I suggest you keep saving items from these events. I have been saving since the Alice skin. Wow. If I remember correctly, we have a chance to get the outfit from the six summons. Six zero point four percent. Seven zero point eight percent. Eight one point seven percent. No friggin' way. You need anywhere from nine to eleven pulls. Three days later. Look at this. We're at the eight summons, but the chance is only 1.4%. So it also depends on which items we get from the previous pools. I'll most likely get the medical summon this time because it's at 55.6%. Alright, three items left. 3.1%. Moonton, please! My dream, it's leading me beyond eternity. They're not gonna make me use 80 butterflies for the last pool, right? Give me the skin right now and we're good. Give me the skin right now. Whenever you try to escape reality, you come closer to it. I need to spend $150, of course. <laughs> Light up my dream. Well, if you've gotten to chapter 60, then you don't need my help at all. You're a veteran player and you have your own strategy. I'm on chapter 64 and I'm doing the same thing. First battle, I invested in Carrie for guild bosses, so might as well use her in the campaign. Sylvana is one of the best frontliners you could have, so even if she's not performing very well in PvP, you still want her for everything else. I will also highlight good potential PvP heroes in each squad for you. So Sivana is invincible for a short time when her shield breaks. And Nathan will drain the energy of the closest enemy to him. He will also banish all the enemies so you can kill them one by one.
the old dead squad is still as strong as ever. You want Argus in the front, and I have the second Angela in this squad. Claude will be really helpful here as he can stop the Harley's hat. But I need him for the other team. So we're gonna play handicap, okay? I'm gonna let Harley banish my Odette. It's gonna be fine because Argus should hold out long enough. Only the strongest shall survive. Only the strongest. <laughs> the magic of justice. Oh my coming. Listen. What a disgrace. Third battle, a new squad, the hybrid squad. This is actually a terrible matchup for them because of Xbox. But as long as you have a tanker standing, Megalela is gonna win for you. You can either use Masha or Akai or at last, it's up to you. Now, every single hero in this squad is a great PvP hero, but they're not necessarily good for the campaign. Like that Hayabusa, he actually sucks. <laughs> I just wanted to showcase the combo Esmeralda and Lunox. Esmeralda is just broken, guys. You have to build her, trust me. You're gonna use her in Mirage, in the campaign, in PvP, everywhere. Just for show. Last squad, Vexana Amaterasu, same combo. We're gonna clone Kagura in the back. I need Claude in this team so he can stop the jump from Lancelot. Oh shit, they killed the clone so fast, lol. I should have done Bring it on! Hello? You see, there's not much to show you guys. I'm sure you have your own strategy. The only thing that can hold you back is the power requirement. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye! Like petals falling.